Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stay on top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Now guys, let's take a look at the gold market. Uh, the gold market uh, it's a bit uh, very interesting situation because take a look, market simultaneously has formed bullish and bearish pattern. On the bearish side we've got the bearish rubber that suggests taking out of these lows and in general the bearish continuation while in the, up, in the opposite direction market has formed the morning star pattern. This candlestick pattern that suggests the upward deep retracement at least equals to the length of the candles of this pattern. So which one we have we should choose and which one we should trade. Uh, first of all take into consideration that the trend still holds bearish because the grabber is not the shifting of the trend and currently the bullish trend has been confirmed yet since this candle has been closed. This trading session today's trading session has been closed yet. Also guys my thought is that bears stands in a better position here mostly because market has significant resistance cluster just above it and to pass through it it needs some additional uh, some supportive some supportive event or something of that sort that uh, could help it to break it the just simple technical retracement will not, will not be sufficient for this breakout that's why i think that the bullish pattern stands in a weaker position than the bearish one also guys don't forget about the ABCD pattern that stands in progress uh, and market right now stands between the targets so, uh, so gold is gravitating to the next target since major breakout already has happened here that's why uh, the chances are less for successive action of this bullish pattern it doesn't mean that you can trade it but if you will trade it uh, trying to take position as close to the lows of the spectrum as possible just to minimize risk if you of course would like to take the long position on the gold market right now I don't know maybe some other event will, will be released later in the session maybe something we do not know that is going on right now it's called and react uh, whether it was re reaction just on the positive United States data and then weekly claims and um, uh, Atlantic sentiment index so maybe not because currently uh, we can't just say that you should not trade this pattern because it's bullish that's not correct uh, but I just would like to warn you that that my thought that the chances and odds stands in favor mostly of the bears not in the bulls just by the technical picture that we have in this chart on the hourly chart guys uh, section was a bit dramatic so you can see that yesterday we said that we don't want to see the truly big jump up on this data release this market initially has tried it moved down from the level that we have suggested that was 1077 the drop down has followed uh, but later market has continued to move up and shows another leg up based on the market statistics that has been released yesterday still as you can see this was pretty much room for moving the stop to the break even that's why we use yeah, every time tell the, tell it uh, that's why we're trying to t to use uh, significant resistances because uh, even the technical response technical respect of this area despite that market later has continued to move up and uh, despite that market has an intention to continue move up this minor retracement, minor the technical bounce as a respect of this resistance after the first touch let us to keep money and to save money to move your stop to the break even and if market is continue to move higher you just lose nothing and wait for there another opportunity what we have here so in this upper direction we do not see any really some drastic reversal or something of that sort that's just action to the next resistance the market right now stands at 1085 and just has tested uh, the weekly pivot point now is dropping lower so uh, on the daily chart guys if you would like to trade the gold 
it's better to wait for the clarity either for drop lower and the raising of this morning star and after that thinking about the taking the short or if morning star will work you could wait for some bit deeper retracement uh, maybe to the 11 even area where we think about the taking short again some deeper retracement retesting of these lows for example if you trade on the intraday chart uh, you could if your this risk will be acceptable for you you could try to trade bearish grabber directly so if you would like to trade the bearish grabber you probably should take some bearish position some minor retracement with the stops above the grabber uh, also maybe it will sound a bit curious but if you would like to trade the morning star page right, you should do the same but this is in the opposite direction so this is your candle of the morning star patients or you could try to take the long position on some retracement down uh, with the whole with the expectation that market could form something say a b c bottom d pattern something of that sort that's will be your target uh, but guys I just would like to tell it again that at my thought the morning star pattern stand is the weaker position mostly because here we have the huge bearish uh, huge resistance area and it will be not really simple it's a tough task for the market to pass through it if market will not get any support from some drastic event or some breaking news or something uh, it's really not large chances not big chances that market will will be able to pass through it that's why I think that the morning star patron is the weak one compared even to the bearish grabber and chances on the downward continuation uh, seems greater but uh, anyway, whatever you would tr like to trade, just follow the rules of trading of these patrons. So about the grabbers, we just have said how it should be on the morning star. We also have said it. The conservative tactics, as I said, suggest the erasing either one patron or another because they stand in the opposite direction. So if market will drop lower, this it mean it will mean that morning star will be erased, and by the conservative tactics, you need to wait it and then trying to take the position based on some retracement. Uh, if you would like to trade on the bullish side then when the market will move above it, you raise the grabber and then if Morningstar will start to work you, you will be able to take the long position. That's for those of you who do not want to take the more risk opportunity for trading on the uh, hourly chart and need to wait for some safer uh, scenarios to, for trading. So that's our view on the gold market.